Okay, children, we're going down to this part here, down at the bottom. It says, help Sarah fill the cups by reading the numbers. And then, how many cups did you fill? So let's start here with the cup that Sarah is filling. It's right here, the number seven cup. You ready? Everybody put your finger on the seven. Down below it to the four. Over to the two, the ten, three, one, five, nine. And then go to the other side. There's an eight cup, a thirteen, that's the number we had today. The eleven, six, and twelve. Let's go through them again. See if you can keep up with me. I'm going to go a little faster this time. Start with the seven cup. Put your finger on the seven. Are you ready? Seven, four, two, ten, three, one, five, nine, eight, thirteen, eleven, six, and twelve. Do you keep up? And then they want you to go through and count how many cups are there in all and write that number down here in the bottom. How many cups in all? When you get that done, we're all done with this book. We have a counting chart on the back page. And I think it's good if you have your parents or an older brother or sister listen to you and see how far you can count. See how far you can count. See if you can get all the way to 100 and keep practicing that every day. Recognizing your numbers, start with 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14. Whoop, 13, that's where we got to today. But see how far you can count on that chart while somebody is helping you. And then your homework for today, you need another piece of blank paper. I'm going to hold it up here for a few minutes. It's the U, the R, the 13, 8, H, and then you have four words to write. And then the F. And it looks like I forgot to leave a line for those words, so I guess, hmm, how about we just skip the F and write those words on that next line. Forget doing the F and just write the words down below on the next line. How about that? And then put your name on the bottom line and write 10 each, 10 U's, 10 R's, 10 13's, 10 8's, 10 H's. And then write top one time, sit, pot, and map. And whenever you're writing these words, sound them out, okay? Sound them out as you're writing them. Name on the bottom line. Easy enough? Then we're going to go on to our activity book. You can get your book out then with a smiley face. And you should be ready for this page right here. It's on colors again, and you children are getting pretty good at your colors. Go ahead over here and color the crayons, what color they say on them, so you have a code to go by. And then look at the number, look at the number six. Go over here and find your six, and it's blue. So the top dab of ice cream is blue. So go through and do all of that, color that whole stack, do that after the video. We're going to go through here really quick, turn to this page, circle the two pictures that are the same in each row. So it doesn't necessarily have to be the first one. Any two in this row that are the same. So look at them really close. The first row looks like baby bibs. Which two of them baby bibs are the same? This one don't have a little flower on it, so it's not going to be that one. So, and this one, the strings aren't tied, so it looks like it's these two. So circle this one and this one. So it don't have to be the first one. It can be any two in the row. 
So go through there, see if you can find the rest of those. Those are pretty easy, the two that match. And look really close because they can be tricky. Then we're going to go back to this back page. We're going to do that top part of the back page. There's a little boy there in the yard, a little girl playing. And it's talking about near and far. I think most of you children know whenever something is near or whenever it's far away, the bird is near the birdhouse. And that tree back there, see the tree? Here's the bird is near the birdhouse. And the tree is far away from the birdhouse. So what you're gonna do, I'm gonna give you some instructions here. Everybody with me on this top part? Girls, are you with me? What you're gonna do, everybody listen, draw a flower near the birdhouse. I'm only saying it one time, so listen carefully. That was your first instruction. I'm going to give you just a few more seconds for that, and then we'll go on to the next one. Okay, you ready? Draw a cat far from the birdhouse. Kind of hard to draw cats, isn't it? Do the best that you can with that. And then when you're done with that, you can go ahead and do your dot maps. Everybody's doing really good with the dot maps. And then we're ready for the last page, and all I have is this picture of it. It's talking about rhyming words. Um, in the first, let's see, the first column there, you have dish and fish. Uh, let me see what we're supposed to do there. Cut on the green dotted line, cut out the picture squares on the purple dotted lines. Glue each picture onto the left beside the picture that rhymes with it. So you have dish and fish. Is the first one. Okay. So what rhymes with dish, and we all know it's fish, I get it now. I don't have my book here, my good book, but. Then go down to the next picture is a Jeep. What rhymes with Jeep? Your pictures there on the right are car, goat, fish, bib, sheep, five, and toe. Which one of those rhymes with Jeep? Go down through them one more time. Car, goat, fish, bib, sheep, fire, and toe. How about Jeep and sheep? Is that what you had? If you had Jeep and sheep, you've got that one right. The next picture is a jar. What rhymes with jar? You glue that beside, and the next one is a hoe. The next one is crib, and then a tire, and then a boat. So we have a dish, jeep, jar, hoe, crib, tire, boat, and a car, goat, fish, bib, sheep, fire, and tow. So see if you can match those all up. 
And remember how we've done it in class. If you get to one and you don't know what rhymes with it, just skip it and do all the ones that you know and then come back and see which ones you have left. Do all the ones you know and then come back to it if you can't figure one out. So, I think really quick, we're going to go through here and go through our flashcards really quick. Um, we have... Sort these out. Okay, are you ready? Here's the one we have today is the U. Are you ready? All together, everybody. Everybody help me. U, and then it's R. J, I, H, S, M, A, F, T, G, O, N, P, and back to you where we started today. Did everybody, was everybody able to follow along? Let's go through it one more time. Starting with the U we had today. U says uh, as an umbrella, remember? We're gonna go a little bit faster this time. U, R, J, I, D, H, S, M, A, F, T, G, O, N, P, and back to you. Have your parents or an older brother and sister help you keep going through your letters so that you know what each letter is and what sound it makes. Do your homework, do this page here, take a picture of it, send it in, and finish up all of your, you should be able to finish both books today. And then we're gonna turn these books in, you'll have a table in the gym, just like the other rooms, so that when you can turn this book in next weekend. And that's all I have for today. Thank you, children.